whoa, 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 whoa. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this position. And for that, we got to go back to the beginning. Okay, so this is me. I'm your mommy. And I'm just an Australian girl who loves to travel, have a lot of fun, enjoy life, all the good things, right? Until I met the man of my dreams. This is him. He's your papa. And he's a Colombian who moved to Australia back in 2019. And it was supposed to only be for six months. But then we met. We fell in love. We traveled a lot. We had so much fun together. Blah, 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 blah. You know how it goes. Then the unexpected happened. We found out that we were going to have you, a beautiful little boy. So now you're all caught up. Roll the clip. Pretty sure my mic is plugging. Maybe my water broke. And well, what is your due date that you've been given? The twenty fourth of December. Well, like it okay. definitely looks like like snotty like mucus, and it's kind of like a yellowy, um, greeny color. And then when I was in the car, like I felt like there was more coming out, and it was like warm, and felt kind of like kind of like peeing myself, and then when I got home to check it there was nothing more like there was no more like globs of mucus or anything but the pad felt mm. wet okay and mm. when did that have you just gotten home now no we got home at like 8 30. 8 30 okay and it doesn't really like go away the pain that's at the front um mm. like kind of where his head is like it feels like a lot of pressure at the front there um and a lot of back pain it feels like strong period pain basically and I'm not really good at timing it because I don't know when is the start and when is the end, you know, because it feels kind of constant for me. You're going to hop in the shower, well, after you've hopped in the shower and had a nice hot shower, mm-hmm. you're going to put on the fresh pad. You're going to mm-hmm. chuck a heat pack on the tummy and mm-hmm. take a couple of Panadol. And we're just going to see what those pains do. It could be that it's just early stages of labour. All right, you happy with all of that, mate? Yeah, that's so, fine. All right, good. We'll chat later. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. So after this point, I was laboring at home from 9pm until about 4.30 in the morning when I started getting concerned at the colour of the mucus and waters that were coming out. They were quite yellow and I had a feeling that baby had done a poop inside. So I called the midwives again at around 4am. I didn't film this part, but I just told them, I think he's done a poo inside. And they, you know, asked me to describe how it looked. I did. And they said, come straight in, which we did. Once we arrived at the hospital, then they checked. And yes, he did do a poo inside, which meant that I had to be put on oxytocin and speed the labor up since um, once the waters have broken, you've got about 24 hours that you need to get the baby out from that point. Um, before they need to start doing interventions to get the baby out faster. Hi guys, we in here. Gabby has eight centimeters. Epidural. Epidural now. Just waiting for baby to well, come eight out. Eight All the way without epidural to eight centimeters. So proud of her. How are you feeling? Ready, but tired. <laughs> bye bye. Baby soon. Baby soon. Hello, guys. So we are waiting to get another check to see how many centimeters I am. By this point, I had been laboring for 18 and a half hours and reached 8 centimeters without any pain relief. I wasn't allowed to have a water birth because baby had done a poop inside, which was very disheartening. Plus, my mother had COVID and couldn't be there for me. So I was very disappointed and very exhausted at this point. And um, I've had the epidural. And if I am 10, then I can start pushing. Um doing well we're really excited to meet our baby boy and um, it's been good we arrived at about 5 a.m. 5 a.m. and it's now what time is it 
Almost full? Yeah, almost yeah. full. So it's been pretty quick, to be honest, because I had to get, um, my water's already broke, but I had to get um, oxytocin because baby did a poo inside. So um, they had to speed it up because baby needs to come out um, within a certain time frame from when your waters break, if they've done a poo inside. And I'm on antibiotics and all is going well. So very excited. Yay. Not long to go now. Just tired and ready. <laughs> that was exhausting. Right? Yeah. <laughs> exhausting watching? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was it watching me in the pain? <laughs> yeah, it was, looks really hard. Yeah. Horrible. Really painful. Yeah. And horrible, yeah. Yeah. Okay, ciao, we'll see you yeah. when we have baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she can be 
3.861 kilos, 53 centimeters, I think she said, right? 50 something centimeters. Um, big head, <laughs> and an hour and a half of, an hour and a half of pushing. <clears throat> an hour and a half of pushing, and altogether 23 hours of labor since labor started. 